So the exams uh, tentative dates of the exams are from 10th August to 20th August 2022. Uh, you'll get the finalized date by July end. So please be in contact with me. I have sh shared my contact number in the chat box. If you don't have my number, please contact me and be in touch with me uh, for any exam related updates. If you have any doubt regarding the subject, what to study, what not to study, okay, please contact me on the number which I have mentioned in the chat box. Save that. And we'll, I'll just briefly go about the important topics of Six Sigma Green Belt, uh, which you can focus more for your exam. Just take a screenshot of it, okay, or if you want it in your in a message form, just contact me. I'll forward the same content to it to you. So combination of Six Sigma and Lean, uh, what is the importance, how it helps, uh, what's the uh, meaning of Six Sigma, all the graphical representation. Please be very careful about all the images which you see in the textbook, all the images and graphs. Be very careful. We'll show the same image. You may have to identify what's the context behind it. Okay, so lean process, types of Six Sigma, meaning of Six Sigma, what are the benefits, features, and myths of Six Sigma, just go through it, okay? Some simple questions will be asked, it will be very relatable, you, you will find it very easy, questions based on benefits, features, myths, and all, it will be very easy for you, just go through it, okay? Elements of quality, Six Sigma training levels, very important, okay? Six Sigma tra training levels, it's value-based, so please be, uh, please mark that which are the different training levels and what kind of profit you have to get to the organization with a particular training level. Concept of Six Sigma, Six Sigma organization from leadership uh, to, the, uh, to, to the team member, coach, sponsors, etc. What are their functions? Who all are there? What are their individual functions? Be very thorough in that. Then accounting cost, different types of cost, opportunity cost, variable, fixed, some examples will be given. You have to identify which kind of cost it may be. What is given the textbook, only that examples will be used. Okay. Return of investment, the formula for return of investment, profit centers, examples of profit centers, examples of cost centers, DMAC, the abbreviation, what DMAC stands for, uh, what are the each individual function of DMAC, design, measure, analyze, improve, control. Okay. DMADV, okay, design, measure, analyze. Uh, design and verify, okay, DFSS design for Six Sigma, SIPOC, okay, supply input process output, customer feedback, FMEA, okay, failure mode uh, analysis, root cause analysis, models of process inform improvement, all the eight models, eight different ways to which you find in Lean Six Sigma. What is Muda, Muri, Mura? Don't get confused, be very thorough in that. What is the difference between Muda, Muri, Mura, okay? to all the top 21 top management tools, okay? In which phase of Six Sigma will you use this top management tools? Some graphs or images will be shown. You have to identify which kind of top management tool is it, okay? Brainstorming, steps of brainstorming, guidelines of brainstorming, nominal group te technique, the five-step five in nominal group technique, Delphi method, again, the steps in Delphi method, Defects metric formula, which we have discussed just now. Okay, the formula, we just understand the formula, just by heart the formula, that's it. Types of data, quantity, quality, nominal, list, uh, binary, okay, all what you had discussed just now. Sampling methods, only the examples, okay. Explanation of examples are not given, just a list of examples are given. Be thorough in that. Mean, median, mode, range, formula, again. Okay. And you, uh, some kind of, uh, some sim very simple calculations will be given. You just have to sim do simple calculation. Just be careful on that. Keep a calculator with you. Nominal distribution curve, the uh, basics of uh, nominal distribution curve, uh, the area covered by the curve, that is one unit, 68% under one standard deviation, etc. Be thorough in that. Just go through the glossary. Okay, that's it. These are the sample questions. Just I'm sure it's showing just two sample questions. Okay, these kind of questions you can expect. So the first question is critical uh, tree uh, to quality tree. Okay, critical to quality tree CTQ is used in which phase of DMAC? It's used in the design phase. Okay, so you should know which phase, which top, uh, top management tool has to be used. It's given the textbook, just follow that. Under which sampling method, snowball sampling will fall. If you have been uh, reading this, 
if you have understood the list of sampling method, you would know that it is it snowball sampling comes under non probability sampling technique. Okay, so these are the types of sample questions you uh, like this type of questions we can expect in the exam.